Hi guys, so for today's look, I wanted to show you my everyday summer foundation routine. I'm really, really liking a glowy skin for the summer. I have really dry to, to normal um, skin. So for the summertime, I really like to uh, take advantage that I can rock a glowy foundation. And I really wanted to show you guys the products that I've been using to achieve it. So if you guys wanted to see how I achieved this foundation look, then okay, just guys, keep on watching. So don't mind my hair. We're just gonna get right into it. So I'm going to spray my face with this Evian um, facial spray. It's kind of like a refreshing, like it's kind of like water for your face. That's what it looks like. I did already moisturize. <clears throat> so while that settles in, I'm gonna take this Han Hanale or Hanale lip treatment. This came in my Ipsy bag if you saw my last video. I did say I was gonna try out these products. So I did try this a couple times. I do really like it. So I am gonna put that on my lips. Just to moisturize my lips while we work on the face. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna take the Magic Lumi um, light infusing primer. That's what it looks like. It says to shake well before you, so we're gonna shake it. I'm gonna take a couple pumps on my fingertips and I'm gonna work that all over my face. Now I have dry to normal skin, so I do put it all over my face because I kinda just look matte throughout the day and I want to achieve that luminous glow for the summer. So I don't mind putting this all over my face. Now if you're oily and you don't like your face to look super oily and super dewy, I would just put this where you want it or mix it in with a matte foundation, which I feel like beats the purpose, but with the matte foundation, if you put this in, it just gives you a very subtle glow as to oppose when you just put this all over with a dewy foundation. And I'm gonna bring that down my neck a little bit because I want everything to blend. So now that I look like a disco ball, I'm gonna take my um, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundations. I have N5 Neutral and W5 Warm. It's sand beige and true beige. One. One is just a tad bit darker than the other. This one is a little bit darker. This is um, true beige. And this one is a little bit lighter. This is sand beige. This is W5 and this is N5. So I'm gonna take the darker one and put that around my face. And then I'm gonna take the lighter one and I'm gonna put that in the inside of my face. So you'll see what I mean. So I'm just gonna take a pump of this and dot that all over my face. Oops, just a little bit more, like half a pump more. And I'm gonna bring that on my neck. And then I'm gonna take W5, and I'm gonna take a full pump of that too. And I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my face. Whatever's left, I'm gonna just bring that down my neck too. So now I'm going to take my Sigma Dual Fiber F50 brush. It's a little dirty, sorry guys. And I'm just going to blend my foundation. I'm going to blend the outer parts of my face first. And then I'm going to work on the inner parts of my face.
I'm gonna take a little bit of that darker foundation, which is the um, the True Beige, and just with like a half of a pump, I'm just gonna add some more to my forehead up here. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna take that in my finger. I'm just gonna blend that down my neck some more. But I'm just gonna put that right there. And then, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to dab that on my skin just to finish blending everything out and for my Beauty Blender to pick up any extra foundation or product that's on my face. So I'm just gonna dab that all over my face, like so, just to blend everything. Make sure everything looks blended. And then I'm going to take my Naked Skin by Urban Decay in Medium Light Neutral, my concealer. And I'm just going to conceal like normal. I'm going to bring that into the little corner right here. Go around. Like so. Down my nose. Forehead. Chin. Cupid's bow. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender to blend that. I'm going to blend that in. Oh, I don't know if anybody else this happens to, but my face always gets super itchy. And you can see we really have like this glowy look to our face. Oh, I'm loving this for the summer. It's like the new summer trend is like glowy skin. So now that we have that blended in, I'm going to take my, um, just this random brush. It's just, just a random brush. I don't even know what it's called. It's like really old from when I first started doing makeup. And I'm going to take this banana powder from the Wet n Wild um, Contouring Face Palette. It's in the shade Caramel Toffee. So I'm just going to take that yellow shade on this brush. And I'm just going to set my under eyes. I'm not going to set the rest of my face. It's just my under eyes. I don't want anything to crease. Not that the concealer creases at all. I honestly just like this. I like to set it just because it gives me a little bit more of a highlighted feel. And I really like this powder. It makes my face look really nice. And now to contour, I'm going to take my big, big, big fluffy powder brush. This is the Sigma Large Powder F30. And I'm going to take my Tarte Park F Princess Bronzer. Um, looks like this. And I'm going to mix that with my NARS Laguna Bronzer. And this is the Laguna and Orgasm Duo, but I'm going to mix these two together. Park F Princess is a little bit more glowy, I would say. It just has more of a sheen on it, but I do like Laguna as well. And I'm just going to go and just bronze my face like I normally would. I try to keep the product on like the edge of the brush. I'm gonna go on my forehead, bronze my forehead, my jawline, underneath my jaws, you know, get rid of that double chin action. I'm 
Now I'm gonna go in with more of a smaller brush. I'm gonna go in with this um, Sigma Small Contour F05. And I'm gonna go in back with that Mega Glow Contour by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna go in with a bronzer shade, which is that shade right there. And I'm just gonna start to contour my face. Just lightly, like that. my forehead, my jawline. And I'm gonna take a little bit on that, the corner of that brush, tapping off some of the excess. And I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit, right here, right there, and on the top where I have this little bump, cause you know, girl wanna hide that. And then I'm gonna take that big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend all that again. Then I'm going to take a blush brush. This is the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40. And I'm going to take this blush from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This came in one of my Ipsy bags as well. And this is the Mineral Bra Mineral... Why can I say that? Mineral Blush in Desert Rose. It is very pretty. It does have a slight shimmer to it. But it just looks really pretty on the skin. Like natural and flushed on the face. Just gives you that pinch of color with a little bit of a shimmer to it like so and then I'm going to take my Luxie 522 tapered highlighting brush you guys have seen this a million times now and I'm going to mix max gold deposit minerals mineralized skin finish with soft and gentle I've been loving the combination of mixing these two together. I don't know what it is, but they just look so pretty when they're mixed together on the face. So I'm just going to go back and forth on both of them. And I'm just going to put that on my cheekbone and just a little bit above my eyebrow. Kind of like that C motion right there. Oh, look how pretty that looks. I hope that's picking up on the camera. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just like that. Mm. Yes, Chloe. A little bit on the tip of the nose, like so. Then I'm gonna take my finger and mix them both on my finger and put them right here on my kip as well. And then blend it out with the brush. Oh my goodness, that looks so pretty. I have been loving this combination. Oh, so I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then I will be back to show you guys the finished look. Here it is guys, the finished foundation look. My glowy skin for every day in the summertime. I really hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll leave all the products that I use down below, including all the shades and everything. So hopefully you guys like this tutorial. If you did, um, don't forget to subscribe, like I said before, and I'll see you guys. <laughs>